EF students, my name is Cameron Phillips and I'm so excited to be giving you an in-depth guide on my favorite things to do in Toronto. Welcome to the EF guest vlog. I'm your host today and I'm going to show you how to experience Toronto like a local. I've been living in Toronto for the past couple years now and there are so many incredible neighborhoods, fun things to do, great restaurants to eat at, and incredible places to explore. And I'm going to share a few of them with you today. What's great about the EF school in Toronto is that it's located so centrally in the neighborhood of King West, just west of downtown, which is actually one of the neighborhoods we're going to explore today. Starting out at the EF location, just down the street is one of my favorite coffee shops of all time, Jimmy's Coffee, offering an incredible variety of coffees, pastries, and a great atmosphere to get some work done to hang out, catch up with some friends, or just go for a nice afternoon walk for a coffee. I love going to Jimmy's, and it's right down the street from so much happening. Let me tell you about it. King Street West is home to an incredible array of restaurants, shops, and great people watching too. Right down the street from Jimmy's Coffee is a great bakery that's kind of tucked underground and away from sight, but it's so amazing. It's called Forno Cultura, which means oven culture in Italian and they have incredible breads, incredible sandwiches, and another great place to hang out. While you're on King Street, walk a little bit further down and you're gonna be in one of my favorite places ever. Trillium Park. One of the greatest things about Toronto is its position on Lake Ontario, which provides this great natural resource, a beautiful view, and makes you feel connected to this great body of water. And one of the best ways to experience that is through a park. Trillium Park, which is just a little bit south of King West, is the answer for all your park needs. It's a small park, but it gets you right out on the lake with a stunning view of downtown Toronto, the airplanes landing at the city airport. You'll see people hanging out, having picnics, riding their bikes, running. I personally spend most evenings in this park watching the sunset, going for a run. And you might even see me there if you watch this video and get inspired from it. It is an incredible place to hang out, especially to wind down your day, get a view of the city, see the boats, see the planes. It's just a really, really great place. And when my favorite places in the King West neighborhood as a whole. Now, when you're down there at Trillium Park, there's a path that runs all the way along the lake. And if you take that path and head towards downtown, you're gonna run into the second neighborhood that I'm gonna cover in today's video, the harbor front and downtown. Downtown Toronto is exactly that. Downtown Toronto, it's what everyone thinks of the big city. There's a variety of restaurants and shops and the big mall, and like everything you need to know about Toronto. It's pretty commonplace to think about downtown Toronto as somewhere to hang out, but I'm gonna tell you the places that I hang out and what I think you shouldn't miss if you head downtown Toronto. Start at the harbor front. There is a little beach and a few little grassy hills that make incredible places to hang out and picnic, especially in the summertime and people watch. You're right below the CN Tower. You feel very connected to the city and to the lake and it's a great place to hang out. Kind of like Trillium Park, but a little bit more central to downtown. While you're down there, there is the Lavazza Espresso Shop, which is an Italian espresso chain. They have a great little, I guess it's a pop-up shop where you can go and have espresso shots and lattes and espresso-based beverages, as well as there's a few restaurants right on the water. You can sit and watch the boats and have lunch or dinner or even breakfast and take in the beautiful sight that is downtown Toronto. One of the greatest things about Toronto is the public transportation, which makes it incredibly easy to get all over the city with just a Presto card, which is your ticket. You probably already know this if you're already living in Toronto, but if you don't, let me pull out mine. This is a Presto card. This, you just tap it on all the public transportation and you're into the system. $3 a ride and it's perfect because when you're at the heart Front, you just tap on, go up two stops on the streetcar, and you are right in the heart of downtown Toronto and heading to my favorite coffee shop, Deneen Coffee. I've mentioned coffee shops in every neighborhood so far, but if you're downtown, you gotta go to Deneen. The espresso is phenomenal, it's exceptional. It's right across the street from Sud Forno, which is a casual take on the Tironi Restaurant Group's Italian lunch and casual fare. But if you wanna go and get pastries and salads and pastas, and they have pizza, and a very casual environment for some very great takeout Italian food, you can't miss Sud Forno. And the location right downtown, especially right across from Danine, makes it so perfect and easy and accessible and you'll love it. While you're there, you're just a few blocks away from the Eaton Center, which is Toronto's largest mall right downtown. You can find everything you need, which is also right next to Young Dundas Square, which is the Times Square of Toronto, featuring that kind of Big city, big billboard vibe. You know, you really feel kind of connected in the middle of the city there. And you're also right next to Nathan Phillips Square, which is home to Toronto City Hall and the classic Toronto sign in front of the pond, which becomes a skating rink in the winter. All those things, the Eaton Center of the Mall, Young Dundas Square, and Nathan Phillips Square are all within a 10 minute walk of each other, right in that central downtown area. So you'll find lots of things to do, especially when you're fueled up on Danine Espresso and Sud Forno for lunch. 
Now, also from there, you can hop back on that streetcar, take the streetcar straight down Queen Street, and then you're in the neighborhood of Queen West, which is one of Toronto's most sought after neighborhood and was even recognized globally as a hip neighborhood in all the world's cities. So there's lots of great things to do in Queen West. Queen West has a lot more of the boutique shops, unique stores, clothing stores, so many restaurants, so many coffee shops, so much to do, so much to explore. You could spend days walking down Queen Street and never see it all. Queen West is also great because it's right at the base of Trinity Bell Woods Park, which is a massive park that runs right kind of through the center of the neighborhood. In the summertime, you'll find all kinds of people having picnics, hanging out, playing volleyball, playing games, all in the park. And in the winter, it's a beautiful place to go for a nice stroll among the snow and nature. It is absolutely stunning. While you're in Queen West, I'm gonna mention a restaurant that I love, which is called Taroni, which is the greater company, the actual restaurant version of Sud Forno. Taroni has amazing Italian food, think great pasta, Beautiful pizza, fresh, simple, you'll love it. Super high quality, casual, friendly atmosphere. I love Tironi, I go there all the time. And the original one is located in the Queen West neighborhood and you'll definitely love it when you go there. And I couldn't bring up a neighborhood without mentioning a coffee shop, so I'll mention Sam James Coffee Bar, which has great coffee right across from the park. So you can get your coffee and then go right into the park to enjoy it on the bench or go for a stroll or just enjoy the day in the park with your coffee. There are so many things to do in Toronto, but that is my brief but comprehensive list of my three favorite neighborhoods in the city and I encourage you to get out and explore and make the most of the city, especially in the summer and fall when it's warm and everyone is out, but also in the winter too, you can still do all of these activities as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the EF channel where you can find all kinds of other travel guides from other cities around the world, as well as everything EF. Links to my own channel, my own content is in the description of this video, so if you want to join my world, you can find that. And with that being said, happy traveling around Toronto and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.